Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a trying new makeup video. I have a bunch of products that you guys have requested for me to review. Some of these I've tried off camera and I actually really don't like them. So I already know that I'm probably gonna hate my makeup today, which sucks, but I wanna demo them for you because you guys had asked for my thoughts and review. So I thought we would demo them. I'll tell you the reasons why they don't work for me. So today I do have the Morphe 2 line, which includes their skin tint. It's called the Hint of Tint, I believe. So this is like their really tinted moisturizer foundation. I also have the blushes I'll tell you about as well as their um, jelly eye shimmers. Also have the new Patrick Ta collection. I have the She's Thirsty setting mist, which I did mention in my last video, but if you missed it, I'll tell you my thoughts and demo that. Also have the All Over Glow Balm. Also have the M Cosmetics Dew Drop Blush. I thought I would try my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer finally. <laughs> I haven't tried this yet. I also have the Lash Freak from Urban Decay, which is new. And then I have a sample of the Luminous Silk Concealer from Giorgio Armani. So I have a bunch of new products. Uh, for lips, I might try out the new Slip Shine from Fenty Beauty, and I have my thoughts on this as well. I picked this up. So just a ton of new products. We're gonna play around, try some new makeup. I'm gonna demo these products, tell you why they don't work for me or why they do, and you can make up your mind for yourself if you wanna pick them up. So if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe, and let's go ahead and begin. So I've zoomed you guys in, and we're gonna go in with this Hint Hint Skin Tint. This is from Morphe 2. So Morphe 2 is kind of an expansion line, which is a little bit confusing, but the faces of the campaign and the brand are TikTok girls that are younger, they do more natural makeup. So the whole vibe is very glowy, sheer, um, minimalistic, kind of like, I wanna say like Glossier, but not exactly. Kind of geared towards maybe younger, maybe teenagers, early 20s, people that don't have a lot of imperfections, uh, stuff like that, just minimal makeup, right? So this is the Hint Hint Skin Tint Sheer to Medium Coverage, Shake Before Use. I have the shade here, Hint of Almond, which is medium neutral. So I have tried this, I'm gonna give you my thoughts. This is incredibly, incredibly dewy, which sometimes I like. Like, I really love the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. It's very dewy, but it wears well, and it has a good medium coverage. This is hard to build up. I have some scarring from breakouts, so I'm gonna do the best I can. I might have to supplement with a concealer or something like that, but I really wanna demo it for you. I have a freaking zit right in the middle of my schnoz. Like, why does that happen? Only to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. It's a very thin formula. It comes in a dropper form. So you can see this is what the packaging looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a sponge. And you can see this is kind of the coverage you can expect. So I don't have a ton to cover over here. I find I have issues when I have to cover these scars and just like breakouts and like the redness in my nose. And I feel like it can get a little bit streaky with a brush. We'll do a brush on the other side. But it's incredibly dewy and what I mean by that is it doesn't wear well on me because it's just so dewy. It doesn't last long enough for me. It's one of those where even when you, I feel like I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit just so we can really see it applied. It's one of those where it almost feels like it's gonna slip off all day long, no matter if you set it heavily or if you don't set it, which I always set, but I'm just saying, kind of enhances texture and I've even tried to cut it. So do like half of this and then half like dose of colors or half a matte foundation to bump the coverage up, but to also kind of calm down the oiliness and it still doesn't wear well. This is what it looks like with a sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and demo a brush. And oddly enough, I almost prefer a brush, which, or I'm sorry, a sponge, which is interesting because I feel like you get more coverage with a sponge. So the other times that I'd use this, I'd used a brush, and I don't know if you can see, I, I can see right off the bat, less coverage on this side, and because this product is quite minimal for someone like me, I'm going back in with a sponge. So I just wanted to demo that, which is so interesting, because usually it's the opposite, which is why when I originally tried it the few times that I did, I used a brush. I wanna go in next with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Multi-Purpose Glow Concealer. I have the shade number two. I got a sample from Sephora when I made my order on the Patrick Ta stuff. 
and I want to try it. I have so many concealers and so many products that if I can get a sample of something, absolutely, I feel like why not instead of spending 50 bucks and maybe not liking it. So this is what the shade two looks like. The formula seems like kind of in the middle where it's not super liquidy, but it's also not thick. I'm curious to try this. It's definitely light, but we'll kind of blend it through. Maybe I'll add a little bit here just to make sure. So I'm just using this to kind of blend in. Although, oh, that shade is really light. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and use my sponge to blend. It's very skin-like. What I mean by that is it's not dry and it's not high coverage. It's just kind of, mm, I don't love it. I'm just being for real here. I like more of a coverage specifically under my eye. So I really feel like I have zero <laughs> coverage right there, like zero. Like right in here. Hmm. Definitely hydrating, luminous. Again, so glad that I tried to sample. I'll keep trying it. Obviously, I have a couple samples that I can keep trying, but this is not one that immediately I love or that I would tell you to go get unless you like light coverage, light maybe buildable medium coverage with a really dewy hydrated look. But I have hydrating concealers that I prefer much more, so this would be something that I probably would never... Well, I probably will never buy, just upon my first impression. So I am gonna set my T-zone with my Huda Beauty powder, and then I'm gonna lightly set the perimeters of my face. Definitely need to set my T-zone and my face for this, but I am gonna go in with my cream bronzer and all that stuff, and I wanna do that and see how it plays with powder, which makes me nervous, but I will not use something if I can't use a powder with it. So I'm gonna pull this down. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera and I tried to lift the tails up, but I have microblading so it's really hard to do that. So I'm gonna go in now with the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. This is a strange wand, truly strange, and I can tell you my thoughts on this. So this is a lengthening mascara in my opinion and it can get super clumpy if you do not take the kind of excess off. So I just run the brush a couple times around the rim. Otherwise, it literally will be like crazy clumpy. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo it for you. So if you clean off the excess, it is nice and lengthening. But you have to clean that off because otherwise it gets super clumpy. But I mean, look at those lashes. So if you're just dipping straight in, it's literally not gonna work. You have to clean it off, in my opinion. So then it also has this little, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of like accessory. So I'm gonna use this to really get the outer corners. But that is what it looks like. I mean, for me, having no lashes, it, it does its job. It's just one of those finicky, this isn't gonna be one that you're just gonna go. You have to be mindful when you're using it. Oh my God, it has a scent. I was smelling like weird flowers. I need to look this up. This literally smells like flowers. All of a sudden I was getting a whiff of flowers and I'm like, what, what does that smell? If anybody else gets this or has tried this, tell me what it smells like. I just went through reviews on Sephora and I couldn't find anybody mentioning the smell, but I just kind of skimmed quickly. So I'm going in now with the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in Macchiato. I bought this off Sephora. I have not even used it yet. I swatched it for a video and I did also buy her 125 face brush, which people rave about. So I'm going to go ahead and dip in here. I'm nervous, but we're just going to go for it. I always get nervous, especially with like cream bronzers. That's why I really love the Patrick Ta uh, cream blushes, the cream blushes that I mentioned in my last video because they all work over powder. This is working okay so far, so that is a plus. This foundation or this skin tint has already gotten patchy over here, so I wanna be as careful as possible. This is nice and buildable. So here's what we're looking like. Pretty good, actually. I am surprised. Uh, what I like about this bronzer in particular, just my first impression. First of all, I really like the, the brush. It has the right density. I feel like you could use this for a lot of different things. I love that this is buildable. So a lot of bronzers or contours that are cream, 
you literally put them on and you're like, oh my gosh. And then you have to work to blend them out. This is completely opposite. You have to build it up. So that's good because I was thinking this is gonna be a patchy mess, but it is not. So for blush, I have some options here. I have the new Morphe 2. These are the cheek and lip mousses. I can give you my thoughts. I used this one the other day and I just feel like these are a little bit patchy on the skin. So right here I have the shade Dream, which is like a peachy color, and they are really truly like a mousse. I just don't love these. They're not bad, but again, it's very similar to the skin tint. I just don't love it. It's not bad, but it's not wowing me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that on this side just to demo it for you. But when you apply it on the brush, it gets kind of chunky. So I would take it on the back of your hand first, and then we'll apply to the cheek. So again, I just wanted to demo this for you. It's not my favorite, but I feel like it's very subtle. I don't even know if you can see. There we go. Ooh, I got too much. See, that's what I mean. Like it gets clumpy and it like too much. I'm gonna take a little bit up here too, just to kind of tie it all in. So that is what that shade looks like. Again, just not my favorite. I wanna go ahead and demo this Peachy Peach. This is the Dew Drops from M Cosmetics. And I thought I would demo it just to kind of give you a comparison uh, in terms of the formulas. So the one thing I don't like about this is the packaging. It's hard to get the product out. Like the dropper is not the easiest to work with. It's definitely cute, but functionality, it's a little bit kind of difficult to work with. So I'm gonna actually use my sponge on this side, just the side of my sponge. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and pat this in and then go on to the cheeks. So this is a different formula through and through. And I think you can see immediately, this almost gives you like a moussey matte kind of look. Why do I always do this? <laughs> look, whereas this is, much more hydrating, but it plays well over powder, which is important to me. But this is definitely, the M Cosmetics is definitely, if you like more of that glowy vibe. Just interesting, but it's a buildable formula. I don't see any patching. Looks a little bit more seamless on the skin. You guys can let me know down below, but again, you're gonna get a similar vibe, but if I had to choose, I. I don't think I'd reach for the Morphe 2 again. It's not terrible, it's just not a favorite of mine. So I actually forgot to talk about these Morphe 2 jelly eye shimmers. So I don't like these and I'm just being 100%. This confetti one is absolutely horrible. It looks so pretty in the pan and then when you swatch it, this is what you get. So if you can see here, it looks gorgeous and then you swatch it and you're like, where the hell is the pigment at? These are truly like, I don't know, like, jelly, like jello, that's what they feel like. I'm gonna go in with sunshine. I wasn't gonna do eyes, but then I thought, let's just go ahead and demo it. Sunshine has a little bit more pigment, but you really have to work to get it. So when you get the pigment, it's like on your finger, but it's chunky. So it's just not a good look, and I wouldn't recommend these, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit. I'm gonna go for like a really light dusting, literally for the purpose of showing you guys, but that's kind of the funny thing about today's makeup is just, Today's makeup is definitely not trusted products. This is like products that scare the shit out of me, makeup look. Yeah, see like we're already getting chunks there. It's just not gonna be a product that I would recommend. Okay, <laughs> I feel like we're just, I, I, it's one of those days where I'm like, you know what? I also have the Patrick Ta All Over Glow Balm. And let me tell you, I don't like this. And I'm very disappointed just because it was really expensive. And I've tried products similar to this, like the Beauty Blender has one, also Tower 28, and I thought they were nice. Something about this, it comes melted, which sucks. And I know, you know, it's summer and whatever, but even when I apply it on my skin, I just don't like it. I feel like it lifts. I don't feel like it gives me a beautiful glow. So once you touch it, it really does melt down pretty quickly and then it becomes like a bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the tops of my cheeks and I really just don't, I don't know. Like this is literally like Vaseline. And I just thought it would have more of like a glow. Obviously it looks glowy cause it's wet, but I don't know, I just was disappointed with this. For the price, I thought like in the promo photos and everything, I thought it would have like a base. So it'd be a gloss, but it would have some like glow in there. 
and it just really is clear. Like, yeah, I know it's glowy, but for $50, I could use really anything else. I don't know, just something about it is underwhelming to me. So I line my lips and I wanna go in with this Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Lipstick in Makeout Break. And I have to say, I'm just not a fan of this particular formula. So it just feels a little bit thick to me, like heavy, whereas the Kasha really slip and feel beautiful. This one I can almost feel like grittiness in it. I don't know if there's like micro glitters. I think the shade is pretty, but it also has like a, a scent to it, like I can taste it, which isn't my favorite. I wanna try and go over that with this MAC lip gloss in Too Cool for Pool, which is like a brighter shade, just cause we have like nothing going on, the eyes. And just to like brighten up, yeah. To give me like that summer vibe. And then I also wanna go in with my Patrick Ta, She's Thirsty. So this is that setting spray that I really like. This just really makes you glowy, kind of melt your powders in, even though I already am dewy. Let's go ahead. It has a really nice mister. The scent is kind of herbally, which isn't my favorite, but the the scent is light, so. So here is the finished makeup look. I know it's nothing crazy, but I really wanted to demo a ton of products for you guys today, so I'm gonna go through and tell you my thoughts. Starting off with the Hint Hint Skin Tint. I actually like it better today than when I tried it previously because I previously used a brush every time. Definitely got better coverage with a sponge, but again, I would not use this if I wanted any type of longevity at all. I would say if I was just kind of lounging around the house, maybe going to the pool, something like that, it's very dewy, and I don't think it looks bad on the skin. It's just not long lasting for me personally. If you like light kind of natural foundations and you just feel like you love the dew, I think you would like this. If you're oily, I would say it's a no. Even mixing it is a no for me. In terms of this Giorgio Armani concealer, I don't like it. And again, I'll keep trying it, but I just feel like there was no coverage there. Some other hydrating um, concealers that I can recommend, I like the Kosas one, it has more coverage. And I also like the Iconic London Seamless Concealer. It feels very similar to this, very thin, but it has more coverage. So for me, this is a pass, it's really expensive. I already have some concealers that I like, so that's not a big deal for me. The Urban Decay Lash Freak. So I feel like if you use this right, or, that's not really even the right word. If you tweak it, right, to make it what you want it, I think that it's nice and lengthening. I would not use this for volume. If I was thinking of volume, I would go for the Too Faced, the Too Faced Damn Girl, which has a really thick wand, and that one you're really gonna get volume. This one is a lengthening one in my opinion, uh, and it's just a little bit gimmicky in terms of the way that the applicator looks. A little bit confusing, not the easiest, you know, throw on and go kind of thing, but I do feel like it really wiggles and gets that length. You guys can let me know down below what you think about my lashes, but I like it, but I will tell you the first time that I used it, I applied it straight out of the tube and it was like spider lashes after one like stroke and I was like, okay. So definitely have to kind of play with it, but I do think it's a nice lengthening mascara. So I actually am pretty impressed with this face brush from Fenty Beauty. I've heard great things about it, so I'm not surprised. You could use this for foundation, powder, creams, bronzers, whatever, and it worked beautifully with this. I will say I really like this. I typically do not like a cream bronzer. The only ones I've actually been able to get on with was the Tower 28 and this Fenty one because they didn't patch up. The Tower 28 is pigmented right away, but it blends out beautifully. This one, you can build. So I actually think I like this one more. It just worked beautifully. I didn't have any patching and it didn't look like it was stuck in one area and then patching off in the other trying to blend it. If you're new to creams, but you really like the way that they look, you're just afraid they're finicky, this would be a great one just because it's so buildable. I had to do like three or four layers to really build it up, but it just had no problems, no patching and no flaking, no lifting. So I really like both of these products and I'm shocked because usually, like I said, bronzers are scary for me. I just feel like they're going to lift and just leave lines and this one didn't do that. So in terms of blushes, I really like this M Cosmetics. I mean, a lot of people like them. I don't like the uh, packaging. It's a little finicky. You kind of press this down, kind of like a dropper to get the product and sometimes it doesn't collect the product into the actual dropper. So it can be a little bit just a little bit annoying. I think the packaging is cute, functional, not so much, but the product, gorgeous glow, 
really beautiful, plays beautifully over powder. Again, buildable. I love these. I have, I think, all the shades now. I originally bought three of their previous shades and then now I'm on their PR and they did send these. So this is the shade Peachy Peach. I really enjoy this. Not so much the Wonder Tint Chip Chip Cheek and Lip Mousse from uh, Morphe 2. Again, not bad, not great. You guys saw it. It was just kind of like, okay. But if I'm gonna use a cream uh, powder or cream I'm like distracted because cars are going by. If I'm going to use a cream blush or a cream bronzer, the whole point is because I want a glow, right? And so this gives that to me. It gives me that beautiful glow without the patching. This one just kind of was like, eh, you guys saw it. Let me know down below what you think. It's okay. I don't hate it. Don't love it. Moving on to the Patrick Ta She's Glossy All Over Glow Bomb. You know what, when I look at my face right now, I feel like I look very, very hydrated and glowy, which a lot of people love, but that is probably the skin tint mixed with the M Cosmetics blush really brought that out. Also the Patrick Ta spray. This, yes, when I turn my face, you can see a glow, but you could literally use Vaseline. And I just don't love it for the price. This is a huge component. And I just don't think there's anything special about it. I have the, like I said, Tower 28 one. I have a Beauty Blender one that I really like. This one I thought was gonna have more of an under base. So more of like kind of shimmers or highlight effects mixed in, but it truly is just like a gloss. It's okay, not great, and I just don't see myself reaching for it, so for that reason, I just can't recommend it, unless you're gonna slather your body, but honestly, just use his glow oil. So for me, this is just kind of like, yeah, maybe for photos on Instagram, or maybe for models or shoots, but really like, it's not doing it for me. So actually, the worst product today is these, what are the fuck are these? Jelly eye shimmers, absolutely hard no. Do, please do not waste your money on these, truly. No, my eyes, I just demoed it for you guys, but it's not a cute look. They're chunky, not pigmented. It's literally chunky, creasy, cracky, hot mess. Just don't waste your money on it. Um, These Fenty Beauty Lip Shine, it's okay. And when I swatch it, like it looks really pretty. And on the lips, yeah, it's pretty, but I really still prefer my Kaja ones. This one just is very thick and heavy. I love this uh, lip gloss from MAC. It just really like brought that popsicle look to my lips. I love MAC lip glasses. They're very sticky, but I like how long they last. And then I've raved about this, the Patrick Ta She's Thirsty Setting Spray. I love the component. The spray on it is amazing and it really does give you a hydrated look. So I would definitely recommend that. So that is everything for today's trying new makeup video. Hopefully I demoed these products and kind of gave you my thoughts in case you wanted to pick any of them up. Everything is personal preference, obviously. Like some people probably are really dry and really love that hydrated look. Um, so for me, I'm combo and some of these products just aren't my favorite, but I will have everything linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're gonna try out any of these products or if you've already tried them and what you think. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video.